Hey scientists, let's talk about fossils and changes in the environment. Have you ever wondered how scientists know about animals and plants that have been extinct for thousands of years? It's because scientists have found fossils of dead organisms in the ground. A fossil is a mold, impression, or imprint of a prehistoric organism. Fossils are formed when minerals slowly replace the organism's body materials and tissues, making a replica or copy of the organism or tracks. But fossils are very rare. When most plants and animals die, their bodies are usually broken down back into dirt and soil. For a dead thing to become a fossil, it is usually covered up right after death by a sediment like sand on the seafloor, tar, or even lava. Fossils can tell us a lot about different prehistoric organisms. For example, when we look at the fossils of leaves from a certain area, we can use the leaf shape and structure to speculate the area's prehistoric climate. Since the edges of this leaf are very jagged, and that is a trait common to cold weather plants, we can speculate that the area this leaf came from was cold. This other leaf has smooth edges, leading us to believe that the climate it came from was a warm area. A lot of times, warm areas have fewer fossils because the warm climate encourages dead organisms to break down and decay faster and better. But sometimes a big event, like the flooding of a river, will provide an area with a lot of fossils. A lot of times change in an ecosystem is caused by living things. Let's take a look at Yosemite National Park. This is a popular camping and hiking location that used to be home to a lot of wolves. But, since human travelers are afraid of wolves and being attacked, the park got rid of all of the wolves in the park. After several years, the deer population in the park started to grow really fast, and since there were no wolves eating the deer, the deer population got so large that they started running out of food. This ruined the park for other wildlife and completely changed the ecosystem. In an effort to save the park, wolves were reintroduced back into the Yosemite National Park, and they have helped to correct the overpopulation of deer. This has increased native grasses, which allows for a lot of other wildlife to come back to the park. A lot of times, even a very small change can throw off an ecosystem. Let's say a timber crew would like to harvest some lumber. But, wanting to preserve the forest, they only chop down trees that are already dead. But, a dead tree is the home to a lot of other animals, like woodpeckers. Woodpeckers eat the insects in dead trees, and when they make holes in the trees to get out the insects, other animals, like birds and small mammals, use those holes as homes. If the woodpeckers leave an area because there are no dead trees, insects can become overpopulated, while a lot of other animals also have to leave because they can't find holes to make their homes in. Now let's look at some questions.